What's our adventure today? Louise asked me. So where are we going, Lou? We're going to walk up Morvin and Maiden Pap. And so I think we're going to take in about three summits, aren't we? Mm -hmm. So looking forward to it. It's about 16 and a half K. Um, and how much ascent? There's 942 meters of ascent. And we have parked in a really lovely place and it's called Braymore. Yeah, Braymore. Just by the phone box, the public phone box at the end of this public road which we we only saw one other car on but we've parked beside two others so there must be some other people out and about on the hills so you never know we might see somebody today but if not we're going to have a fab day and the weather yes it looks really good but we need to get uh, moving because there are loads of midges yeah we're being here, attacked so by midges i need my smidge <laughs> off, out off we go <laughs> Lovely. Really looking forward to getting up there and seeing the view. Here's a really funny gate. Never seen one like this before. Louise is coming through it now. And it's at this point we lose the track so we've got to go off into the slightly boggy we think um, route up to Morven. Where we're walking now feels really quite spongy so we're fortunate in that it's been quite dry so the uh, the ground's not too bad but you can certainly feel it give and a lot of squelching underneath as we go up doesn't look particularly boggy, um, except in the odd place, but certainly feels it. just climbed all the way up there it's quite a long way so now we're taking a well-earned break yep naked bar time but I'll, but I'll eat it fully clothed you're all right well the sun's shining it's a lovely day often the sort of thing that you hope for in Scotland but don't get but it's absolutely brilliant today and here we are part way up probably about three quarters of the way up a mountain called Morven, which is the highest mountain in Caithness. And I've been given these trousers from Maya Sports to try out. And this is probably about, about my third time out. And so I thought I'd just do a little bit of a review. I really like these trousers. I've been, I climbed to Cribgoch a few weeks ago in them, which is a scramble in North Wales. One of the great things about them is when the weather's not great, but not too wet, because they're not waterproof, but they are windproof. So they don't really keep you warm, but they keep the wind off you, which is absolutely brilliant because it just makes it so much easier because you don't get too hot, 
but you're also not being frozen by the wind chill. Another thing I really like them about them is that when you're having to scramble, like some of the terrain we've got here, you can get a really good stretch in them and it's stretchy material in one direction. So you're not feeling really restricted, which is really good. Another good thing is this pocket that's just the right size for a bit of A4, folded twice, not big enough as a map pocket, but really good for just having the section of a map. Another thing I like about it is the zips on the sides, so that when you're taking your boots on and off, you've just got a little bit more space, which makes it then really easy. The other thing is zip pockets either side, and none on the back, which I would have quite liked, but they're perfectly good without them. Once it comes with a belt, that's easy to undo. So it's great, really good pair of trousers. Thoroughly impressed with them. I think we're near the top, look. Are we up the top? Oh no, there's another one over there. Here we are, we've reached the summit. It's an absolutely spectacular view. We're looking over to the east coast of Scotland and we've got you can see Maiden's Pap, which we're going to be on just a little bit later. And there's a pan round looking over towards John O'Groats and Dunnett Head. We'll keep going, that's the north coast of Scotland now, going past where Dunray is. So that's all Caith Ness. Now we're heading, you can see the mountains of Sutherland over there. Well, that's our first peak done. So now walking downhill, which always seems actually harder than you expect. We're on to our, heading to our second peak of three. Here's Louise. This one's called Smeen, apparently. We're missing out Carnmore. I'm going for the slightly higher one. This is it. Absolutely no path to follow now. We're well off the beaten track on a route that people don't usually take. What on earth are we doing? Well, we've stopped to have our lunch in this absolutely stunning place, but you know, Scotland, midges. These midgy things, what are they called? It's called a smidge. They really work. They're not brilliant for getting your sandwich in, because you've got to do this. Look, I'll show you. Look. I'll do it. There you go. But it's better than being bitten because they're really annoying. Anyway, there we go. Well, here's our next destination. So this is peak two on our walk. Smeen or Smeen. I'm not quite sure how it's pronounced. We love this walking, don't we? Yeah. Although I wouldn't recommend doing it in designer trainers. No, I wouldn't either. Decent boots, definitely. Here we are, the top of Smeen or Smeen, depending on how it's pronounced. In the background over there, you can see that's Maiden's Pap. So that's our next destination. Off we go, Lou. Let's head back down the way we came. We're on the ascent to Maiden Pap at the moment. Maiden's Pap. And we've just walked through a really, really boggy section. And I imagine it's been really dry here so recently, so it's not too bad. It's still very wet. But the worst of it was the midges, absolutely inundated. If you stop for a second, just a swarm of midges around. Anyway, my view of Maiden Pap is, it looks like Caithness's very own place where aliens would land, just like they did in Close Encounters. Maybe this is where the spaceport should be built. So that's where we've been. That's Morven. And then we walked over to those crags, which is Smeen, Smeen, or Smeen, something like that. And where we're going next, is there, Maiden Pap. Good. 
think we made it. Oh, that was good. Hard going. This is not the easiest descent we've ever done, is it, Lou? No, it's not. Look at this. It's a bit, uh, very long steps down. Kilometers, fantastic walk, and I am sure I can't I can't wait to take my boots off, which is always a pleasure after a long walk. And two, we may just go and find and see if there's a pub open. Yay! Reckon? Yeah, I could have a pint. Yeah. Nice cool pint. Fantastic of cider. walk. Highly recommend that one. Brilliant.